Hello and welcome. My name is April Ray, CEO and founder of the Introvert Mogul Studios. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I wanted to shoot this really quick video for our design uh, series, uh, or I should say our design tools series uh, for, with PicMonkey. And I love PicMonkey. I use it for everything. And we're just going to do a simple design. I'm going to recreate this right here and you're going to get an idea of the f how to use the fonts and how to do overlays and I think that's that's mainly what people do when they use um, uh, something like PicMonkey. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to the PicMonkey photo editor and I've already set the canvas uh, I used the custom. Let me just go back over there. I'm going to X out of here. So this is the front page and I went to design and then I chose custom and this is uh, 2000 by 1080 that's what I usually work with and I just hit make it and it, immediately it takes you to the very first basic edits tab which is the crop tab which I'm not I don't need I'm not gonna color the canvas or anything like that now I could have uploaded a, the image that I'm gonna be using directly but I wanted to use it more as an overlay and to do that we click the butterfly that's the overlay and overlays you can do um, you can just add a bunch of stuff on top of stuff you're just building your page with these overlays so I'm gonna go over and grab the main background image Let's see if I can find it here and it starts off really small but it's a vector image so I'm just gonna spread it out and it's basically similar to Photoshop because it works in layers so you can send stuff to the background or to the foreground that's super awesome so this is what I want for my background now if you notice when you do an overlay and use it as a background if I click on the effects tab here a lot of let's see you'll notice that the effects won't work because it's an overlay and it's not the uh, the background the effects usually work on a background image so just know that if you're trying to use one of these over one of these um, effects on your image and you used an overlay to make your background just know it's not going to show up it's not going to work alright so I'm going to add an overlay another overlay over my overlay and I'm just going to take this geo image and I'm going to use this square and boom it just pops right up you know how different this would be if I tried to do it in Photoshop it would take me forever okay so I'm going to create the bar and I think I had it about this big spread it out a little bit more here I think I had it about right here. Okay, so you notice that the box comes up and there's a box for every element so that you can do whatever it is that you're trying to do. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to add a color first. So this is, I'm going to use the color 2 tab and I'm just going to click on it. And you can pick a color. You just use this little color dropper, dripper, or whatever. You can pick your own color, but I have a color code. It's my branding colors that I'm going to use. Oops, not that one. And actually, it's not even on here. I forgot. So, what's my color code? Let me see if I can remember my color code by heart here. So, it is. E. I think it's 1C. Is that it? FF3E1C, I think that's it, yeah. Looks different. But anyways, we're going to fade that out. And so I'm sure you've seen overlays similar to this where it's like something that's kind of faded and you can see the, uh, the, the background through it. So we're going to fade it out like this. And we'll just click away. And there we go. Now, if you notice, um, when I click here it's picking the um, the whole image that I used for the background and if I want to now manipulate my overlay I need to click out of here sometimes it can be a little challenging I have to click right there 
you have to make sure you click out of the box and then click on the image that you want to highlight and you'll really see how this works when it comes to uh, doing the text right all right hold on one second all right so let's see I want I was looking at my image I want to make this a little bit wider just gonna spread it out like that just a little bit and now I'm gonna go grab my face and that's also gonna be an overlay so I'm just gonna stay on the butterfly click your own and then I'm gonna go grab my face my face in a circle so here we go with my face and put that right here there's a little box and what I want to do if you notice my face is facing to my uh, left and I want it to go right so all I'm going to do is click this little arrow and BAM pedal click on it and move it down just a bit there we go and the last image and actually I think I might like this better but my overlay wasn't uh, underneath there so but I think I'm gonna move the so let me click out of this box because I want to now manipulate this overlay there we go I'm gonna lift that up a bit so it's right there and then I'm going to click out of the box click on my my mug Make that a little smaller there. There we go. And then I'm going to click out of that and I'm going to add some text. So I just go over to the little text tool. My computer's slow, so it's going to take a minute. Now, this is the system, the PicMonkey fonts that you have to choose from, and they have a lot of cool fonts you can choose from. They have some real specialty fonts if you want to get fancy and if you see this little um, crown that's actually for the paid members so you wouldn't have access if you weren't paid but you would have access to all these other ones these are free anything with a crown are for the pro members or the paid members so oh they have some new ones this is cute laughing goal I like that so they have all kinds they have a, just a ton of cool logos that you can play with but I'm going to go to mine and what it does it pulls from your local uh, computer the fonts that are on your computer and I upload fonts um, some some that I purchase I upload it right to my computer and so these are my specialty ones that I use not this one Let's see if it's here Let's see if I can find my special font maybe that was it okay here it is old style so I'm gonna hit add text and you see this little text pop up and I'm going to type just like you would in a word doc actually I'm going to start with the introvert mogul I'm going to click on it and highlight it I want to make it bigger. There's my little box where I can uh, I can uh, configure it. I think we're going to have it up to here. Well, maybe a little bigger. I'm going to click out so that I can actually stretch this out a bit. I'm also going to change the color. You can use the color picker, or if you know the number, the letter code, you can use that. So I wanted that to be white. You know what? There's one more step that I forgot that I see in my original image, but it's no problem putting it on there. I have another overlay over the main uh, background, so I'm going to add that overlay and then I'm going to send it to the back and let's see if this works because there's like three layers that we got going on here. So I'm going to add this overlay. going to cover the whole image with it. I was wondering why it was so bright. Okay, so we covered the whole image. I'm going to click 
and I'm going to bring it backward. Okay, that went one time, so I'm going to click again, bring to back. That one, I need to bring that one to back. Let's see here, bring that one forward up. Let's see if this, see if I can make this work. I don't want to send all the way to back. Okay, that is what I want to do actually. So now I just need to fade it. And that should, whoop. All right, let's try this. Let's bring that forward. I'm gonna move this out of the way. Oops, just got super big on me. for that and then I need to grab this one and bring this to the front. There we go. So sometimes you just got to play with these layers. Oops, that's not the layer I wanted to maneuver. I want to maneuver this layer. it there's my effect that I was looking for now I need this text I need to grab my text see if I can let me pull that down to grab it oops so sometimes it'll take a minute to catch especially when it comes to text nope Okay, I just realized that the font that I'm looking for for studios, I didn't upload it to this particular uh, blah 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 <laughs> to this particular computer, but no worries. We'll just work with what we're working with here. I'm going to just delete this. I'm just going to delete this text box here since I won't be able to use the fancy, uh, the fancy smancy text that I normally use. Now the only thing with uh, PicMonkey is there's not a lot of things you can do with the text. So they have some cool texts that you can use, but you can't make shadows or um, you can't make it like beveled or you can't do anything really cool with the text. And hopefully, you know, one day they'll change that because this would be great if I can add a shadow here, but you know, that's okay. So the Introvert Mogul Studios, and then I think I had another text where it had my URL. We'll just add that real quick. Make the 
this a little smaller and I will make it white also. And there we go. And that, my dears, is it. That is my, that is a semi recreation. Um, you worked with overlays. You can see how to work with an overlay. And you see overlays are really popular right now. Um, I can even move, like if I take my text and you use this overlay here to add text, which is normally what I do, but this is just my header. The Introvert Mobile Studio is my header and then whatever my content is going to be for whatever this thumbnail is for. And let me bring this forward also. Should I, oops. This thing is always... Here's some undo buttons. Undo buttons come in handy. Why is this not doing what I tell it? Go back. There we go. And then, of course, it, this thing slips. My lovely mouse slips. All right. So there we go. So that's it. Those are the basic things that you'll probably want to use PicMonkey for. You want to. You can also use it for images, like if. Um, you know, you have an image of your face and you can do stuff for getting rid of wrinkles and airbrushing. You can do all of that stuff. But this is really cool um, if you want to create an image and fancy it up a bit. And you can use it for your social media. You can use it on your blog for whatever. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know. Um, you can leave a message in the box be way below down on the bottom of this page. And tell me if you like it or if you have any ideas uh, that you want me to train you on. I can do tutorials by request. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me and I will see you on the next video. Bye-bye for now.